Hello, my name is Mr. Maths, and today I'm just going to go through a level one functional skills question on calculating area. Now this is a question that's been adapted from a sample paper from the NCFE website. There are a lot of sample papers on there, so if you want to go check them out for your students, I highly advise it. Now a lot of these questions, as I've mentioned previously in functional skills maths, where it differs from GCSE, are embedded in the real world situations. GCSE maths is more abstract and works a lot more with numbers and functional skills maths is about everyday maths and maths that you would use in the workplace. OK, let's read the question. The floors in both pool showers are beginning to leak and need to be repaired. For the repairs, the centre will need tiles, waterproof adhesive and an edge, edging strip. The floor of each pool shower measures 225 centimetres wide by 150 centimetres long. Work out the total area of floor to be repaired in square metres. Round your final answer up to a whole number. So let's just look at the question and what's important to note is there's a few there's a few words that have been highlighted. So we've got the floors in both showers are beginning to leak so that implies if, if we looked at the actual whole entire question it says there's two shower showers in the swimming pool area so what is highlighting there is there's two so you've got to pick up on this they're, they're giving you clues and the other words that are highlighted are the floor of each so it's there again it's just reminding you that there are two pool showers that we're working with not just the one and it says work out the total area of floor again reminding you that you're going to be adding up both this is why it's really important to read the question carefully and if you notice that at the end of that sentence it says in bold square meters now it's giving you the measurements in centimeters so in level one They'll deal with um, converting measurements, but they won't convert between systems. They'll only convert within a system. So centimetres and metres are the metric system. So they're, they're asking you to do a conversion within the metric system. And it, finally, it says round your final answer up to a whole number. Well, that's telling you it's a decimal number already. OK, show your workings and then you put your answer at the bottom there. And there are five marks available. Now I'm going to go through the answers that they're going to want to see to get these five marks. So firstly, I would advise to convert all the measurements that you have into meters. Now, if you know your conversion from centimeters to meters, there are a hundred centimeters, note the cent, which means hundred. There's a hundred centimeters in a meter. So you would have to divide the 225 by 100 and the 150 centimetres by 100 to get the measurement in metres. So if I just put this up here, look. So 225 divided by 100 is 2.25. So that will be 2.25 metres. And 150 divided by 100 is 1.5. If you want to go check out my previous video on multiplying and divided by 10, 100 and 1000. That will give you a full rundown of how to perform this operation. OK, so you're going to get one point for that. So we're well on our way to getting our five marks. The next step would be to calculate the area of one of the pool showers. Just remember, we're just dealing with one of the pool showers here. And if you remember how to do this, it's length times width. So, the floor of each shower measures 225 centimetres wide by 150 centimetres long. So you're timesing those two measurements. Now just remember, we've already converted them. So this is what you're going to get. You're going to get 1.5 times 2.25. So you're going to get a mark 
for knowing that it's length times width. And then you're going to get another mark for the answer at 3.375 meters squared. So there's two marks there for that calculation. And don't worry, you will have a calculator in this exam. Although there is a video I've made on how to perform this in written form, you will be given a calculator. So we're at three marks already. If you look at the bottom, it says of the question, it says work out the total area of floor to be repaired in square meters, the total. So we've worked out the area of one of the showers. So now we're going to times it by two to get the area of both the showers. This is why they painstakingly highlighted the words each, both and total. Just to remind you there were two showers. So the total area is 3.375 meters squared times two, which is 6.75 meters squared. So that's a point for that. So you've got a point for the top two answers there, two points for the multiplication answer, multiplication sum and the answer, and another point there for timesing the answer by two. Now the final point is going to be rounding it to a whole number. So as you can see we've got 6.75 which is a decimal and what they're doing is just round it to a whole number and place the whole number answer in your answers. And that's the answer, 7 metres squared. It's an easy 5 marks to get for your paper. And um, just follow those steps. So you've got one mark for those first two calculations, two marks for the next calculation, another mark for the final doubling of your answer, and then the rounding up. Okay, I've been Mr. Maths, and I'll see you later.